in front of a packed house at Buckshaw Stadium in San Jose after 90 minutes plus stoppage time and the final whistle by Jair Marufo, our referee on the afternoon. It finished 2-2 between the Quakes and Galaxy. Kobe Jones, Mark Rogandino here with you for Galaxy in 5. I guess the good news is first in the third and final meeting between the Galaxy and Earthquakes, the Galaxy didn't lose a two-goal lead. They did lose a lead twice, but they come away with a point out of this one. Well, that's the important thing. They came away with a point and now they are going to be looking at other games, but they still to a degree, depending on what happens, have their destiny in their hands right now, depending on this last game against Seattle. Yeah, Seattle and the Galaxy will face off uh, this coming Sunday at the Home Depot Center in the final regular season game of 2012 for both clubs. But let's take a look at how the action unfolded here. After no goals in the opening 45 minutes, we had plenty in the second half. Well, the second half, everyone came out firing on all cylinders, and it starts out with the connection of Buttle to Keane. And like we said, we wanted to see Keane push up a little bit more and be in the box. And when he does, he's so dangerous as he scores the first goal. Well, the lead didn't last long for L.A., though, by the way. That was 16th of the year for Robbie Keane. Gonzalez whistled for the challenge. And then Chavez bends one in to make it 1-1. One, one. Well, that's just a great, great shot by Chavez to make that 1-1-1. One, one, one. But then you see on this one, what I love, I love goals that come from crosses. You know, my man Sean Franklin there on the outside picks his head up, picks out Edson Buttle. And what I like on Edson's part is his run to the near post to get in front of his man. And that lead only lasted for about four and a half minutes as Chris Wondolowski trying to become the first player ever to win the Golden Boot for three straight seasons hits his 26th of the year. Yeah, uh, Wondolowski so dangerous and we've seen it once again. Set plays for the Galaxy have been a troublesome spot especially against the San Jose team and when you have a player like Wondolowski and Lionheart they've got to be very aware so as they move into playoffs they've got to step it up. Alright before we wrap things up here let's discuss a couple things. First, 2-2 is how it finishes here at Buckshaw. How do the Galaxy feel about going up 1-0, going up 2-1, and then having the Quakes come back and equalize? Well, this isn't good. Just as far as a mentality perspective, because in their first two matches, they were up, and then they gave up the lead and lost. At least, as you mentioned earlier, they can take a little bit you know, a little bit of credit in the fact that they didn't lose this match. They didn't drop the game, but they need to build up defensively a little bit more as they move into the playoffs because, as we've mentioned, if you are going to go to the MLS Cup in the championship, you probably have to come through San Jose. All right, so that's the micro view of things immediately here in San Jose. Let's go to the macro view and talk about the season as a whole. One final game remaining on Sunday against Seattle at the Home Depot Center, but remember, this Galaxy team had an absolute disastrous start to the beginning of the season. They found a way to get it right, climb back up the table, and now they possibly could get that third spot in the West. Well, I think they have to be happy with the way the season has gone overall. Obviously, they're going to look at a few things towards the end. How are we yeah, dropping these games? But overall, back. pitcher, very good by the Galaxy to come back from, from a dismal start. And now it's just about getting players healthy. You know, you're missing Beckham and Donovan tonight and seeing what this team's going to be like when they have everyone healthy and firing on all cylinders as they move into the playoffs. There could be a lot on the line coming Come Sunday at the Home Depot Center, a Sunday evening kickoff to wrap up the 2012 regular season. It's the LA Galaxy playing host to the Seattle Sounders. We expect you, the Galaxy fans, to put it up at the Home Depot Center with another great environment and a fantastic match to follow. For Kobe Jones, I'm Mark Rogandino. This has been Galaxy in 5.